the widget size and the position settings. When you add any widget to a page, you need to consider the alignment with the page container, especially in a full screen page and a fixed layout. Each widget has size and position settings at the style tab. You can decide this alignment by clicking on the sketch diagram and change the offset values. When dealing with the widget size and position, you have to understand the unit you use. There are two unit types in Experience Builder, pixel and the percentage. Pixel is an absolute unit. When widget use this unit for its size and position, it is fixed and not responsive. While you can also use the percentage, this is a relative unit, means how much proportion the widget occupies in the parent container. So it is relative and responsive when the container size changes. Let Jen explain the details in the demo. I will use the full screen page to introduce the units of a widget. First, let's add an image widget. A widget needs four values to determine its position and size. X, Y, width, and height. And the X, Y has its region. When we move it, move the widget, the region may change. By default, the widget added to the panel uses percentage as its unit. If you want to change the unit, the value will be calculated according to the resolution of the current page. If you want to change the x value from percentage to pixel, you can click the percentage icon. The pixel value is calculated from the page width and the ratio number. Since there is this header, so before calculating the y, we should minus the height of the header. The way to calculate the width pixel is the same as the x value. And the height is the same as the y. I will give you another example. There are three columns in this page. In the center column, the first one all uses pixels, and the second uses percentage. The third uses pixels. They are all aligned well at this resolution. But when the page is launched, they are disordered. You will be even more confused when you resize the page. The highlighted widgets use this pixel and they have the same region, so they stayed at the same position. The bottom left widget uses pixel too, but its region is bottom left. It's different from others, so it will move when you resize the page. Also, you should have noticed that the width and height of the widgets use pixel keeps the same, but the percentage units change when you resize the page. Now let's talk about the adapt mode of widgets width and height. There are four modes you may see, custom, total, stretch, and aspect ratio. Custom means you can set specific values you like. While in auto mode, the widget width and height will automatically adapt based on, the, based on its contained content. Stretch mode will let the widget fulfill the size of its container. That's the four width or four height. In some widgets, you may see another option, aspect ratio. When one of the widths or height use auto mode, enabling this option will keep the ratio of width and height. Let's see the demo. In a fixed layout, the default mode is custom. It means you can resize the image as you want. When you switch auto mode, the resize handler disappeared. What's the mean of the auto mode? Let's open the image to see its meta info. 
you can find the dimension of the image here. And then you switch back to custom mode. You can find out the real size of the image equals to its dimension. What if we switch to a much bigger image? Its dimension is about 2,000 and 100, 1,000. We switch to this image and uh, turn the motor to auto. You will find the image takes full size of the fixed layout. And when you enlarge the resolution, the image still takes the full size. It's because the content of the inner fixed layout cannot exceed its boundary. Let's see another example using text widget. We copy some context into the widget and turn its height to auto. The height of the text widget will be determined by its content. If we cut off some text, the height will decrease. That's the mean of auto mode and custom mode. Then we turn to see stretch mode. When you turn the width to stretch, it means its width is determined by the left and the right, and the width will be flexible. When you change the resolution, the left and the right will keep the same value, and the width changes. This is a stretch example. When you resize the window, you will see the difference between stretch and the custom width. The first one is left and the width is fixed, and the second is stretched, its right and the left is fixed. The last one uses percentage unit. Now let's see the aspect ratio mode. When you set the width and height units to pixel, there's one option, aspect ratio. If it is turned on, the ratio of the width to height is fixed. When you change the one value, the other will be changed too. If you want to change the ratio, you should turn off this option. Then change the value of width and height. Then turn on this option again. Now you get a new aspect ratio value. In a column layout, the default width mode is stretch. It means it will take the full width of the column layout. When you change the mode to custom, you can resize the widget as you want. The default height mode is custom. It means you can resize the widget. When you turn the height mode to auto, the height will be determined by its content. You cannot resize the widget directly, but you can resize the column. If you change the mode to custom, also there's the option of aspect ratio. When you turn this option on, you cannot resize the widget, but you can resize the column. Then drag another widget into the column. Let's see what the stretch means. When you change the mode to stretch, it means this widget will take the available space of the column. Let's set a background for this image to see it more obviously. When you resize the first image, the stretched image will be shrinked or expanded. Then add another widget. When we switch the image to stretch, 
there's still enough space to show the widget. Then add another widget. Now the column has a scroll bar, and the widget which mode is stretched is very small. So keep in mind, when the column has scroll bar, do not set the height mode to stretch. In the row layout, there is no width mode. The width of the widget is determined by the 12 columns. You can resize to adjust the width. The default height mode is stretched. It means it will take the full height of the row. When you resize the row, the widget will always be the full size of the row. When you change the height mode to Auto, it, its height will be determined by its content. When you resize the row, the height will not change. If you change the width, the height will be also changed. When you change the mode to Custom, you can change the height of the widget by yourself. And also, there's the option of aspect ratio. If it is turned on, you can set the ratio of the height to width. And you cannot change the height by yourself. When you resize the widget, the height will also change. So what's the difference between auto and aspect ratio? If you choose auto, the height is determined by the content. And if you choose the aspect ratio, the ratio is determined by you. Now, the image widget has a fixed aspect ratio and the row has custom height. When you change the res resolution, sometimes the height of the image exceeds the boundary of the row. So you can turn the height mode to auto. Then when you switch the resolution, the row will fit the widget perfectly. When you resize the widget, the height of the row will also be changed. Mm -hmm.